friends welcome to my channel excellent ideas in education today we are going to solve this quadratic polynomial problem this is board exam problem if the zeros of the polynomial x square plus bx plus q or double in value to the zeros of 2x square minus 5x minus 3 find the values of p and q what we need to find in this case this p and q value we need to find what is given in this question this equation is given First, we will find alpha beta value in this case. After that, double, double means we will take this is 2 alpha comma 2 beta. Here is alpha comma beta. Next, we will solve this problem. 2x square minus 5x minus 3. What is the quadratic polynomial equation? x square plus bx plus c. What is a value? a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 5, c is equal to minus 3. What is sum of zeros? Sum of zeros is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. b is minus 5. Minus of minus 5 divided by a is 2. Alpha plus beta is equal to 5 by 2 is the answer. Product of zeros. Alpha beta is equal to c by a. What is c value? c is minus 3, a is 2. This is alpha beta value. But we need to find p and q value. Or double means we will take 2 alpha plus 2 beta in this case. Next we will take x square plus px plus q. What is the quadratic polynomial equation? x square plus bx plus c. What is a value? a is equal to 1, b is equal to p, c is equal to q sum of zeros now we will take here is 2 alpha plus 2 beta is equal to minus b by a what is b value b is p minus p by 1 2 alpha plus 2 beta 2 open the bracket alpha plus beta 2 is common we will take it outside equal to minus p what is alpha plus beta value 5 by 2 2 into 5 by 2 is equal to minus p. This 2, this 2 cancel. p is equal to minus 5. Next, uh, product of zeros. Product of zeros is 2 alpha into 2 beta is equal to c by a. 2 twos are 4. 4 alpha beta is equal to what is c value? c is q, a is 1. 4 into alpha beta is minus 3 by 2. Minus 3 by 2 is equal to q. 1, 2 is 2, 2, 2 is 4, 2, 3 is 6. Minus 6 is equal to q. Now, the value of p is minus 5 and q is minus 6. This is the first method. We will see second method. Second method. What is given in this question? 2x square minus 5x minus 3. We will do splitting the middle term. Plus 2 into minus 3 is minus 6. 1, 6 or 6. You see here, here is minus. So put the minus biggest number. Plus is here. Plus 1 into minus 6 is minus 6. Plus 1 minus 6 is equal to minus 5. You see, minus 5 comes. Plus 1 into minus 6 is minus 6 comes. Now we will split this one. 2x square. Here is plus 1. Plus 1 means plus x. Minus 6x. X, minus 3. This one we will split into this way. Equal to 0. Next we will take this is one term. This is another term. x is common. We will take it outside. 2x plus 1. Here is also 2x plus 1. So what comes remaining? 3, 2, so 6. So here is plus, so put minus, minus into plus, minus, minus into plus, minus, equal to 0. Next, x minus 3 into 2x plus 1, equal to 0. Next, x minus 3 is equal to 0, 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to 3, 2x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Next, x square plus px plus q or double in value to the zeros of 2x square minus 5x minus 3. So, zeros of the quadratic polynomial is x square plus px plus q. Right? So, this value is x is equal to 3 
x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Double right, double means into 2, here is also put 2. x is equal to 6 in this case. Here is x is equal to cancel this and this minus 1. Now we got 2 values. Now what we will do in this case, required quadratic polynomial is x square minus sum of zeros of x plus product of zeros equal to 0 x square minus sum of zeros means 6 minus 1 x plus product of zeros means 6 into minus 1 equal to 0 x square 6 minus 1 is 5 minus 5x 6 into minus 1 is minus 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 so what we need to find p and q value right x square plus p x plus q you see here p is equal to minus 5 q is equal to minus 6 you see the first method p is equal to minus 5 q is equal to minus 6 this is second method. Answer should be same but the concept is different. Which one is easiest for you you can follow. Thanks for watching this video.